Vyvanse, a medication commonly used to treat ADHD, is proving to be an unexpected aid in the treatment of various mental health conditions. While its initial use was to improve focus and reduce impulsivity in individuals with ADHD, it has now found its way into the treatment plans of those with depression, anxiety, and even binge eating disorder. The drug works by stimulating the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter responsible for feelings of pleasure and reward. This can help alleviate symptoms of low mood and motivation, while also reducing the urge to engage in impulsive behaviors. While Vyvanse is not a cure-all solution, its ability to target multiple mental health conditions has led to a surge in popularity among both patients and mental health care providers. In this video, we will explore the surprising uses of Vyvanse beyond ADHD and discuss the potential benefits and risks of using it as a treatment option. Beyond ADHD Other Uses for Vyvanse in Mental Health Treatment Vyvanse is a prescription medication that contains Listex amphetamine, a central nervous system stimulant. It is primarily used to treat ADHD, a condition that affects attention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity. However, research has shown that Vyvanse can also be used to treat other mental health conditions. Here are some of the surprising uses of Vyvanse beyond ADHD. Vyvanse for depression. Depression is a common mental health condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It is characterized by persistent feelings of sadness, hopelessness, and worthlessness. Antidepressants are commonly used to treat depression, but they can take several weeks or months to work. Vyvanse, on the other hand, can work much faster. It stimulates the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter that regulates mood, motivation, and pleasure. By increasing dopamine levels, Vyvanse can help alleviate symptoms of depression, such as low mood, lack of energy, and loss of interest in activities. It can also improve focus and concentration, which can be helpful for people with depression who have difficulty concentrating or making decisions. However, it is important to note that Vyvanse should not be used as a first-line treatment for depression. Antidepressants are still the preferred treatment for depression, and Vyvanse should only be used as an adjunct treatment if other treatments have failed. Vyvanse can also have side effects, such as insomnia, loss of appetite, and anxiety, which can worsen symptoms of depression in some people. Therefore, it is important to discuss the potential benefits and risks of using Vyvanse with a healthcare provider before starting treatment. Vyvanse for Binge Eating Disorder Binge Eating Disorder bed, is a type of eating disorder that is characterized by recurrent episodes of eating large amounts of food in a short period of time, accompanied by feelings of shame, guilt, and loss of control. It is a serious condition that can lead to obesity, diabetes, and other health problems. Vyvanse has been approved by the FDA for the treatment of bed, and research has shown that it can be effective in reducing binge eating episodes. Vyvanse works by reducing the urge to engage in impulsive behaviors, such as binge eating. It stimulates the release of dopamine, which can help regulate the reward system in the brain that is involved in binge eating behaviors. By reducing the urge to binge eat, Vyvanse can help people with bed to gain control over their eating habits and reduce their risk of developing health problems. However, Vyvanse should only be used as part of a comprehensive treatment plan for bed that includes therapy, nutrition counseling, and other interventions. It is not a standalone treatment for bed, and it can have side effects, such as insomnia, dry mouth, and anxiety, which can worsen symptoms in some people. Therefore, it is important to discuss the potential benefits and risks of using Vyvanse with a healthcare provider before starting treatment. Vyvanse for Substance Use Disorder Substance Use Disorder SUD, is a condition that is characterized by the compulsive use of drugs or alcohol despite negative consequences. It is a serious condition that can lead to addiction, overdose, and other health problems. Vyvanse has been shown to be effective in reducing drug cravings and improving cognitive function in people with SUD. Vyvanse works by increasing dopamine levels in the brain, which can help reduce drug cravings and improve cognitive function, such as attention, working memory, and decision-making. By improving cognitive function, Vyvanse can also help people with SUD to better engage in therapy and other interventions that can help them overcome their addiction. However, Vyvanse should only be used as part of a comprehensive treatment plan for SUD that includes therapy, support groups, and other interventions. It is not a standalone treatment for SUD, and it can have side effects, such as insomnia, loss of appetite, and anxiety, which can worsen symptoms in some people. Therefore, it is important to discuss the potential benefits and risks of using Vyvanse with a healthcare provider before starting treatment. Vyvanse for Cognitive Enhancement 
Cognitive enhancement is the use of drugs or other interventions to improve cognitive function, such as memory, attention, and creativity. Vyvanse has been shown to be effective in improving cognitive function in healthy individuals, as well as in people with cognitive impairments, such as ADHD and traumatic brain injury. Vyvanse works by increasing dopamine levels in the brain, which can improve cognitive function by increasing motivation, focus, and attention. It can also improve working memory, which is the ability to hold and manipulate information in the mind for a short period of time. By improving cognitive function, Vyvanse can help people to perform better at work or school, and to better engage in activities that require cognitive skills. However, Vyvanse should only be used under the supervision of a healthcare provider. It is not a substitute for healthy lifestyle habits, such as exercise, healthy eating, and sleep. It can also have side effects, such as insomnia, loss of appetite, and anxiety, which can worsen symptoms in some people. Therefore, it is important to discuss the potential benefits and risks of using Vyvanse with a healthcare provider before starting treatment. Vyvanse Dosage and Administration Vyvanse is available in capsules of various strengths, ranging from 10 mg to 70 mg. The dosage of Vyvanse depends on the condition being treated, the age and weight of the patient, and other factors. It is usually taken once a day, in the morning, with or without food. The capsule should be swallowed whole, and should not be crushed or chewed. It is important to follow the dosage and administration instructions provided by a healthcare provider. Taking too much Vyvanse can lead to overdose, which can cause serious health problems, such as heart attack, stroke, and seizures. It is also important to not stop taking Vyvanse abruptly, as this can cause withdrawal symptoms, such as depression and fatigue. Side Effects of Vyvanse Vyvanse can have side effects, which can vary depending on the dose, the duration of treatment, and the individual. Common side effects of Vyvanse include insomnia, loss of appetite, dry mouth, and anxiety. Less common side effects include nausea, vomiting, dizziness, and irritability. Rare side effects include hallucinations, psychosis, and suicidal thoughts. It is important to discuss the potential side effects of Vyvanse with a healthcare provider before starting treatment. The side effects of Vyvanse can be managed by adjusting the dosage, changing the timing of administration, or switching to a different medication. If side effects persist or worsen, it is important to contact a healthcare provider. Precautions and considerations before taking Vyvanse There are several precautions and considerations to keep in mind before taking Vyvanse. Vyvanse should not be taken by people who have a history of heart problems, high blood pressure, or glaucoma. It should also not be taken by people who are taking MAO inhibitors, such as phenylzine or tranylcypramine. Vyvanse can interact with other medications, such as antidepressants and antipsychotics, so it is important to discuss all medications with a healthcare provider before starting treatment. Vyvanse can also be habit-forming, and can lead to addiction if not used as directed. It is important to only take Vyvanse as directed by a healthcare provider, and to not share the medication with others. It is also important to not abruptly stop taking Vyvanse, as this can cause withdrawal symptoms. Conclusion Vyvanse is a medication that is commonly used to treat ADHD, but it has also been shown to be effective in the treatment of other mental health conditions, such as depression, binge eating disorder, substance use disorder, and cognitive impairment. It works by stimulating the release of dopamine, which can improve mood, reduce impulsive behaviors, and improve cognitive function. However, Vyvanse should only be used under the supervision of a healthcare provider, and should not be used as a first-line treatment for most mental health conditions. It can have side effects, and can be habit-forming if not used as directed. Therefore, it is important to discuss the potential benefits and risks of using Vyvanse with a healthcare provider before starting treatment. Thanks for watching.